Welcome to Photo Escapes, a photography series featuring Matthew Williams Ellis and myself, John Alexander, as we take you along on our journey photographing some of the most amazing locations in the world. In this episode, we're on our home patch in the UK. We've come down to Dorset's Jurassic Coast in the southwest of England. Having to contend with Storm Doris and 50 mile an hour winds makes photography seriously challenging. But spurred on by our competitive nature, we take our equipment to its limits as we try and capture the drama of Dorset's rugged coastline. We've chosen Portland and, and a particular rock uh, called Paul Pit Rock. Especially in the winter, it gets perfect side light at sunset. The good thing about photographing on the coast is you can be a lot more flexible with the weather. You don't necessarily need direct light because you've got the waves that you can kind of use slow shutter speeds with or you get a lot of um, a lot of emotion and action. Yeah, exactly. We've got big winds, we've got big skies, and then we'll hopefully have a small gap on the horizon just before sunset where we get some really good low light just hitting the rock. Portland, an isle, not an island, semi-detached of the mainland. Famous for its lightly coloured limestone. Portland limestone was used in the reconstruction of St Paul's Cathedral after the Great Fire of London in 1666 and is still widely used today. In other news, the word rabbit is taboo in Portland. If you want to make someone aware of the little mammal you've just seen, you have to call it a long-eared furry thing or you'll strike fear into the locals. On the southern tip is Portland Bill Lighthouse. So the sun has actually just come out, which is really awesome. Hopefully um, by the end of the day, it'll still be here. It does keep on going behind the clouds, but I'm hoping we're going to get lucky and get a nice, a nice shot of pulpit rocks nicely side lit at the end of the day. So what we've done is we're going to come back around to the other side where hopefully all the salt spray is going to be heading away from the camera because that's where the wind's going. Yeah, so that probably wasn't the best idea. I just got absolutely soaking. Have a look at the back here. All my jeans. I was probably there for about 20 seconds and I took about 20 photos. Were any of them good? No, all crap. Here are the photos that I've just taken, most of which are just that, basically. Just that. That's all it was in the photo. Maybe pulpit rock in the background. But yeah, that wasn't a good plan and I think Maybe I went too far with trying to get close to the action to get that drama, but you know, you have to try these things and now I have now got quite a broken camera, so I'm gonna have to go back home and sort it all out, make sure it's all dry, clean it all off, otherwise this will not work in the morning, guaranteed. After giving John all of the sympathy, I decided getting drenched photographing essentially a big stone wasn't for me. I bravely headed over to the other side to shelter from Storm Doris and photograph the lighthouse as the sun set. So I'm now shooting in the opposite direction that I was shooting in earlier. This is where I wanted to shoot because we've got the lighthouse, but the sun was right behind it earlier and now the sun's much lower, we've got a beautiful sky. So the waves are just crashing in the foreground with the, the lighthouse behind and it just looks incredible. It looks so good. So the difficulty is that some of these waves are actually too big and just fill the, fill the frame. So I'm, every time a wave comes in and smashes against the rocks, I'm firing off a couple of shots. And then with this three stop neutral density filter, I can get about half a second to a second exposure, which is just enough to get the, the waves flying up in the air. This one's gonna be good. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yes. Oh man. This looks just awesome. It looks so good. As the light faded, we were happy to get back into the warmth after a challenging but rewarding session in this amazing part of the UK. 